It has been like a seven since I started my journey to Islam. I had said that one of the motivating factors for seeking an alternative faith where I hope to serve God better, that Christianity is by and large looking fake as a day whispers by. I fed it up after my soul experience as a seminarian and as an ex-seminarian trying hard to worship God in truth and in spirit. Those days I was left hollow. I felt an unusual emptiness of both of peppers and drive to move on. Just like a lady in this video we are about to watch, I started doubting and questioning. The skepticism gave way to a deeper search and long story short, I am now a bona fide Muslim. Inconsistency in Christianity refers to the discrepancies that can be found between the teaching and the practice of different Christian individuals and obviously groups. This inconsistency can arise due to differences in interpretation for scripture, cultural context, historical development and the theological beliefs. This has led to disagreements on important issues such as the role of women in the church, the acceptance of LGBTQ individuals and the interpretation of the Bible itself and importantly, modesty. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, welcome to another episode of the Open Minded Thinker Show. To spread the dawah, please like and share this video widely. Let it get to people. Don't forget to be part of the family by subscribing to help us grow bigger and better. The Christian woman, aka pastor, we are reviewing her rejection of Christianity is one in a million folks from around the world who are increasingly tired of the Gangatuan hypocrisy hampering Christian evangelism around the world. Um, I want to announce to every of my friends all over the world that henceforth I no longer want to be regarded eh, or be called a Christian. Yes, I'm serious about it. Please don't call me a Christian. Don't look at me as a Christian. Okay, I'm tired. I'm totally tired of the name called Christianity. The name called Christian. You know why? Please don't try to preach to me or try to to advise me or encourage me. No, it's over. Okay? Because the Christianity that I know of hmm, in the 1980s, when I was born, the Christianity I know of in Antioch eh, is no longer the Christianity I'm seeing today. In fact, the definition have changed. So that's why I don't want to be related or associated with this kind of stinking disgusting Christianity you people are showing or, or displaying all over the world. You didn't hear me? The Christian I know of, the, the Christianity I know of in the Bible is different from what I'm seeing today. First, madam, I expected you to start the charity at home by dressing us with your hair fully covered. Shouldn't that be the starting point of your retreat from the lies which Christianity has told you? Look, madam, if you are watching this video, you know that the Christianity is not different. There has been corruption of the truth raging like fire from the cradle of the faith. Christ preached a faith that everybody understood, which among other things was the obedience to one God, which in Islam we know as Allah. But Paul, after his conflicting account of divine arrest on his way to Damascus, claimed to have come with a new message. Paul at some point excommunicated Peter, took over Christianity and rebranded it according to his whims and caprice. The aftermath is what we are witnessing today. I was meant to know that Christians are people that live like Christ. 
that talks like Christ, that behaves like Christ, that are loving and sweet to be around like Jesus. But today, the reverse has been the case. So I don't want it. I want to be known as a child of God. I want to be known as a person that is born from the womb of Yahweh that looks like Jesus in my character, in my attitude, in my behavior. Yes. So what is happening? What am I saying? Even right from the bedroom, right from the sitting room, even to the church, even to the marketplace, what we are saying is not the Christianity in the Bible. Please stop deceiving yourself. Explain to us the kind of Christ you are following. If you say you are a Christian, please explain to us which kind of Christ are you talking about? Is it the Christ that died on the cross of Calvary? Or the Christ you are preaching to us? That's full of hypocrisy. That's full of lies. That's full of hatred, backbiting, anger, envy, gossip. Is it the Christ you are preaching to me? Please, I don't want that kind of Christ. I want the Christ that is holy. The Christ that is pure. The Christ that is transparent. Pastor, you are seeing the consequences of the infiltration of Christianity by falsehood today. There is no concretization of Christianity. Every sect and denomination teaches their own brand. In fact, in Africa, where you reside, I hope so, churches and now business centers where pain of tides supersede praying and leading an exemplary life. For every year you've lived on earth, I'll take him a thousand naira. So if you've lived on earth 35 years, 35,000. You've lived on earth 60 years, 60,000. Who by the grace of God can give one billion naira? Who by the grace of God can give one billion naira? Between now and next year, one year, one whole year, you're going to raise an altar to the Lord on behalf of your children with $1,000. I want you to step out. We're asking you to give so you can be blessed. Yes. The church is a blessed body. He is giving you a 21 day miracle unction, which means in the next 21 days, you're going to have miracle money. However, my joy is that you said you want to be born from the bosom of Yahweh. Yahweh is in Islam, is Allah. And by stating that you want to be like Prophet Jesus, you have automatically chosen to be a Muslim because Jesus was one by virtue of his obedience to one God and Lord. Instead of wandering from pillar to post, I hereby extend an invitation to find your worth with Islam. As a Muslim, you would love and understand the person of Jesus Christ better. You are inside the car with your wife. Eh? <laughs> You are arguing, you are insulting her, you are calling her all manner of names. Eh? You are going to the church. Oh. And when you get to the church, you'll be smiling. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hey, honey, honey, please, can you give me the microphone? Oh, God bless you, sweetie. What kind of sweetie is that? What kind of Christianity is that? And as you are preaching, at the, at, the, at the seat there, she's crying, she's weeping, she's bleeding. I say, honey, please, do you have something to say to the church? Please, can you just lift your hands and, 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 and say a word of blessing to the church? That's your Jesus. I don't want him in my life. That's your Christ. I don't want him in my life. Because it's not the Christ that I know that died on the cross of Calvary. The Christ that I know, like I said earlier, that appeared to me, he said, I'm holy, be holy. Jesus is loving, Jesus is sweet, Jesus is kind, Jesus doesn't insult anybody. How come you are insulting people around you? How come you are hostile? How come you are a lion of the tribe from your village backyard? And you say you are a Christian. God forbid that you are a Christian. Madam, Jesus did insult people in Matthew chapter 23, Jesus criticized the Pharisees. He refers to them as hypocrites, blind guides, 
and whitewashed tombs. Among other things, in Matthew chapter 21, verse 12 to 13, Jesus insulted. But the point here is that Christianity does not follow Jesus. Over the centuries, there have been modifications such as introduction of the Trinity, veneration of Mary and saints, raising of altars with images of Mary and Jesus, continued changing of God's words to feed man's whims and caprice. By this, I mean the Second Vatican Council, the Protestant Reformation and modernization of Christian teachings. Today, Christianity is hardly recognizable. Tradition has been thrown to the swine why a spiritual nuclear attack has been initiated at the heart of the faith. Madam, the ball is in your court now. Accept the true faith of Jesus. Come to Islam. Well, let's draw the curtain here. Please share this video until the woman says it, because that's the motive. Assalamu alaikum.